a Caribbean gem, behind the scenes at Rodney Bay Marina. As the chill of the winter season begins to descend on Europe, the seapiot industry will inevitably turn its attention towards the Caribbean. With its famously beautiful beaches and coastlines, delicious and diverse cuisine and consistently favourable weather, the enduring popularity of this region shows no signs of changing anytime soon, with yachts flocking in their droves to marinas throughout the region. One such popular spot can be found tucked away on the north side of the island of St Lucia, IGY's Rodney Bay Marina. Currently offering the lowest berthing rates in the Southern Caribbean, the marina is celebrating its 15-year anniversary this year. Here, we go behind the scenes with the marina's general manager, Sean DeVoe, to discover the highs and lows of his tenure so far, his insider's guest's guide to the best of St Lucia, and why Rodney Bay is the perfect stopping point for your next Caribbean adventure. There's no place like home. For Sean, securing the role as boatyard manager in 2012 and then general manager in 2015 at Rodney Bay Marina meant more than a typical job. It was a true homecoming experience, he tells us. I was born and grew up here in St Lucia and my father owned a marina within the Castries Basin. I was down there from a very young age, probably from when I could first walk, and I think that's where my passion for the water really started. I always loved being out in the water, whether it be sailing or fishing or spending quality time with family and friends. Fortunately, I was able to return to a job that put me back on the water and in my homeland too. That was highly convenient and a real privilege. Weathering the storms. Naturally, Sean's 10 years at IGY, proudly celebrated earlier this month, have not been without their challenges. We have certainly had quite the journey while I've been at the helm. In recent years, we have suffered the crippling effects of COVID-19, which hugely affected the tourism industry upon which the region's economy depends, as well as Hurricanes Irma and Maria, which caused so much devastation to the region. That being said, I also want to emphasise how proud we are for weathering these numerous challenges as a network and the IGY team. It's helpful to be part of a global network such as IGY, which offers expertise and knowledge that you can lean on when times get difficult, and to be able to offer that support to other properties. Six of our facilities were severely damaged during Irma and Maria. Fortunately, Rodney Bay Marina was one of the few that wasn't, meaning that we were still able to service our clients while offering support to neighbouring islands and other facilities. All in all, getting through these challenges has shown us how strong we are when we work together, as well as how close we are as a global team. Furthermore, Rodney Bay's fortunate position in avoiding the brunt of the hurricane's damage also enabled the marina to take an active role in relief efforts, as Sean explains. We were able to organise and help coordinate relief efforts to get to Dominica. We had boats coming in and out of the marina 24 hours a day, which we would fuel up and help provision for their rescue mission to Dominica. The strength of the community in these efforts was truly amazing. An insider's view. As a St Lucian, born and bred, Sean's list of recommendations for the area could form its own article. He shares just a few. There is so much to enjoy in the area and I make sure not to take it for granted just because I'm from here. Personally, I always enjoy Pigeon Island because of its rich history. Located just north of the marina, there are war barracks still standing offering a very informative tour as well as amazing views both north and south when you get to the top with beaches, bars and restaurants below to enjoy some downtime. For those proper fitness freaks, there is also the new Triple Peak Challenge, which has gone viral, where you climb Mount Jimmy, Grobiton and Petit Peton in one day. Mount Jimmy is the tallest mountain in St Lucia, and the other two are both above 2,500 feet, so you still have to be pretty fit to make it. But for the more day-to-day nature lover, you can also go snorkelling in and around the Pitons to enjoy the stunning wildlife, enjoy one of our many hikes, or even have a go at ziplining. Discover Rodney Bow for yourself. Currently offering reduced rates of up to 50%, price match deals and insurance coverage for storage within both the marina and the yard, IGY's Rodney Bay Marina is a perfect jumping off point from which to begin your Caribbean yachting vacation, especially if you are taking part in the ARC Atlantic Rally for Cruises, which takes place every year, and for which Rodney Bay offered a bumper schedule of events last year. If you're still unsure of how to begin your cruising adventure at Rodney Bay, 
Sean has the perfect solution. Just contact us at the marina and we'll do all of the hard work for you. We can let you know all the films you need to fill out, let you know the guidance for, say, having pets on board, help you find your perfect cruising browns, and plan your perfect itinerary using the expertise of our supporting industry partners. Whether it involves adventurous hiking, beaches, luxury spas, visiting vacations, or everything in between, we've got your co- you've got you covered. If you want to find out more about the range of facilities and amenities on offer at the marina, you can have a look at the IGY Marina's website and search for Rodney Bay Marina.